All right, today I wanted to go over a uh, kind of deep cleaning. I'm going to use my Smith & Wesson EZ9 here. Excellent concealed carry weapon. As you can see, we have got this bad boy empty, cleared. Always safety first. Um, the takedown lever on this gun is right here. Just pull it down. And then I find the easiest way is just to release the slide release here and boom, this thing comes apart. Um, all I'm going to be using for this cleaning is bore brush, of course the rod, something to hold the patches to clean it off, a um, little toothbrush kind of cleaner. I do have the metal brush out here in case there's some caked on stuff, but I don't believe there will be. Uh, I try to keep this pretty clean and then some patches and we'll get some of these out uh, this gun is not very dirty right now um, it's been shot a couple times since i've cleaned it last but i'm going to show you a deeper cleaning here because uh, this is how i would go about a full cleaning on a gun even though this one doesn't need it i have some gun oil here and some bore cleaner here that i'm going to be using and uh, let's get to it. We've taken the slide off. Let's take the rest of the firearm apart. Go ahead and remove the recoil spring here. Use my finger to push up on the barrel. Slide it out. Set that aside. And uh, I usually start with the slide and barrel. So we can go ahead and screw on our wire brush here. And I always push this in one direction, which is the direction that the bullets flow here. Oh, so we can push that and I don't know if you can see that on camera, but a little dust came out of there. So <laughs> maybe just maybe I needed a deeper cleaning than I thought. So we'll push that through a couple times, try to get some caked off material out of there. And then we'll unscrew that and we'll screw on our patch holder. Uh, well, what I'll do is I will open up my bore cleaner here. I will grab a couple patches and I will take this and I'll kind of just shake some out on there. And uh, I'll do it in a couple different places, kind of, you know, getting this soaked up a little bit. And then we'll put it in our patch holder. Get it locked in there, and we'll push it through the bore. Back and forth. Uh, you can see it's picking up a little bit. Oh, we lost it. And that does happen, especially if I don't have it good and tight in there. So we'll get it back on there. Pull it through. Push it again back and forth and you can see it's picking up a little bit of dirt but not much so we'll go ahead and pull these patches that were soaked in bore cleaner off there and get some dry ones on you know what you're gonna want to do is once you get these dry ones on you're just gonna kind of go through there and uh, you're gonna want to do it until you know no real dirt comes off as you can see this is pretty clean I'm not going to go through a lot of patches on this. I mean, there's a little bit of residue coming off on there, but nothing that I need to keep wasting patches on. So take those out of there. You're just going to want to wipe off the outside of your barrel. You can see that our... Uh, Feed ramp here is clean, shiny, that's good. Wipe off our recoil spring. So not, not much dirt in here. So I'm gonna keep using one of these patches. Wipe off the inside of my slide. Get around the firing pin in there because you'll get a lot of buildup in that area. See, that's where it's really starting to get dirty. Now. If this was really caked on here, I would take some of this bore cleaner on one of these patches and uh, really get in there, 
try to get it uncaked. But I mean, to be honest with you, these firearms, they're, they're made to have this stuff and dirt in them. So get a little brush. Come in here, cleaning these grooves. Just really try to knock off anything that might be stuck in there or more stubborn than you can get with just wiping with a patch. And then come back through. I mean, these guns don't have to be where you can eat off of them. Like I said, they're meant to be fired. They're meant to have gunpowder in them. They're meant to have residue in them. It's just not meant to cake in there and, you know, hinder the performance of the weapon. So what I do at this point is we'll take a patch. I'm going to take some of the gun oil here. I got some hops gun oil. And I put some on there and let it soak in a little bit. What I'll do is I'll take this, wipe down the outside of the barrel. And then I will go ahead and reinsert the barrel. So we'll put it in there. We'll get our recoil spring put in there. Whoa, maybe. Sucker's trying to get away from me. All right, make sure it is lined up the way it's supposed to be. And then you want to pull, just make sure it sits right. This one, the flat sides, I don't know if you can tell that this recoil spring is not round. It's got two flat edges. The flat edges go towards the left and right. The round edge goes down. So we'll set it like that. Now we can set this aside. This, this is clean. We'll start working on the body of the gun now. Once again, take a patch, just start wiping everything off. You can see we got some more residue down in here. Wipe around, kind of looking at the patch every once in a while to see if there's an area to where you're picking up a lot more residue and grime than any of the others. So it seems relatively clean and even. So we'll take the brush. We'll just brush around. If there's any gunk that doesn't want to come off with a patch, you know, just loosen it up. Get down in here where the magazine sits, where the trigger bar is, where your release is. After we loosen that up, we'll grab us another patch and wipe down again. Now one thing I'll do with this gun that uh, I don't do or don't have to do with my other guns, I'll go ahead and dry fire this. This has an internal hammer right here. Hopefully you can see that. I'll pull the trigger, boom, it pops up. There you go, you can see the hammer's up. Now that way I can get down in behind here where that spring is holds that trigger back, or sorry, holds the hammer back. And we can get in there and we can wipe it off and you know, make sure we're kind of clean there, get around the hammer good, the extractor. Uh, and this one has the safety back here, grip safety. And you can see it engages here. It also lifts here to engage your trigger bar. This pushes your plunger, grabs your trigger bar. But anyway, I'll push that in so you know those mechanics go up and I can get a better better cleaning around those items and then other than that I mean that's pretty much it cleaning a gun shouldn't take you all day I mean this took me longer than it normally would uh, if I wanted to get meticulous you know I could get some q-tips get down inside here you know pull the trigger get inside this area but really I mean, as long as you stay on top of your maintenance, it shouldn't take you long to clean your firearm. So we'll go ahead and put this one back together. We'll get our spots that we need to oil here, you know, where the slide rubs against the frames. So we'll put a drop there, drop there. We got the metal pieces back here, we'll put a drop. And every once in a while, I'll put a drop on my trigger spring. And that's it. We can put it back together, call it good enough. So we'll push it back, we'll lock the slide, put our takedown lever back up, release slide. I like to rack it a few times, 
get the oil work through there. Now this firearm is clean. We'll take a patch and wipe off the outside where some of the oil that I was using has gotten on it. And, uh, you know, get that going. And you are now nice, clean, and shiny. And that's it. It's not anything hard to do. Uh, but keeping up on it makes it simpler, makes it easier, and makes your firearm perform at its optimal ability. So there you go. That is cleaning your Smith & Wesson EZ9. Uh, yeah, please like and subscribe, and we'll get more videos out with cleanings and classes and other hopeful, helpful tidbits for you. And we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.